Hello, I just wanted to show you a few things about the pipeline tool. Uh, I want to talk to you about the drop down features in the cells, uh, the filtering that that allows, and also the diagnostics that that allows. So, first, how do the drop downs work? So, there are certain columns that have uh, drop down values. Um, here I'm showing you a drop-down value or the drop-down list for uh, the sortable status column. And you can see there's a limited number of choices there. Uh, when you enter in a new opportunity, uh, you would uh, simply pick one of these. Nice thing about these drop-downs is that they uh, uh, give you a limited number of choices in and in a specific and each of them in a specific uh, format so any small differences between between uh, uh, just any free text fields any problems introduced by that are avoided so that makes it easier to filter and uh, do diagnostics on them so you'll see there's drop down boxes for um, uh, the sortable status column the urgency column uh, the Role, prime, and sub. Um, uh, and let's see. Oh, the lead division. Here you can see there's four values there. And then also some of the things that are not in the printed field uh, the set aside uh, codes, full and open, total, small business, like that. So you can see there's choices there. And um, okay, so those are all the ones that have the drop-down boxes. You want to when you want to put in data in those boxes, uh, you just simply pick one of those. If you try to enter something else, it won't take it. Um, uh, so uh, if I just type anything in there, it won't take it. So all right. So next thing I wanted to show you is the filtering. So filtering is something again that's allowed by these drop down by, by using these these uh, categories of responses you can filter on any one of these columns uh, by filtering you're basically saying I only want to see uh, the rows that that meet certain criteria so if let's say you only want to see uh, certain rows here according to this status so you pick the whole column you click filter and you click on this uh, little arrow here and then you pick the uh, the statuses that you want to see so I know one thing I don't want to see any blanks I don't want to see what we have won in this particular case and I don't want to see anything that's a, a no bid or lost okay so you can see how it eliminated some of those, all, all of those. And you can take that off if you want to. And just by per selecting all, and it'll bring them all back. Uh, and uh, you can also filter on urgency. Uh, this, is, uh, this column is really helpful because it has not active in it. So uh, again, let's filter here pick urgency high medium and low or not active so uncheck not active and uh, uncheck the blanks and then that will eliminate everything that's not active or um, is blank okay all right so then I say it'll eliminate it it'll just hide it it's still there uh, but uh, when you print it out or when you show this screen you won't see it so Okay, the third thing I wanted to show you was diagnostics. So I just created this uh, little tab here that does a, a little analysis of the opportunities on your sheet. So um, it's pretty self-explanatory. It basically counts everything on the sheet uh, it, according to whatever status or, um, or uh, urgency. Uh, actually, I need to change this here to urgency. 
<laughs> uh, and uh, this is uh, set assigned code. Uh, so this does the analyses by set aside code. Obviously, I haven't filled in the set aside code for all of my opportunities. This does the analyses by lead division. Uh, in this case, I you know I mostly just put in uh, human capital practice leads, obviously. Um, and then we have two more things. We've got this this graph. This bar chart here, which is basically a representation of the number of active opportunities by status. And then here we have uh, some pipeline figures. So what this is, is really just a sum of all opportunities in the spreadsheet that are active uh, by uh, dollar value. Uh, and that's in, in terms of thousands. And then um, the value of the pipeline adjusted by wind probability that's basically those same numbers just just the active opportunities uh, with the values each of them multiplied by their corresponding probabilities so here we got uh, 3.8 million as the value of the pipe of the pipeline adjusted by probability okay that's it